I don't have any clue of how to start. <laughs> I can't. Now you got me trying to follow a script. <laughs> well, don't let me hold you down. Well, yeah. Keep it in the off pants. Sc- keep it off the script. I don't think we ever had a script. Uh, well, now we know. Now we just need to record randomly next time. That's what that's what your job is. I'll just push a start when I... Yeah, just push the start sneakily on me. Um, Sneak! I used to be able to do a Gollum voice, and I'm kind of bitter that it's gone. <laughs> do you feel like it's because of pitch? I have no clue. I don't know, because I used to be able to do it not when I was, like, a kid. It wasn't like a puberty thing. It was just... I don't know if it was a practice thing. It just got out of practice or whatever. But I don't. I can't match that sort of squeaky... Because it's high-pitched, but it's also got the kind of gurgly, Grovel, yeah, yeah. back-of-the-throat kind of noise that I just can't do anymore, and I don't know why. I used to be able to... Yeah. Ah, buddy, 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 boo. Come here, pal. He's ready to... You just what? put your salsa. Butt... Whoa. That's, uh, that's salsa. <laughs> that was my... What was... I don't know, what am I even thinking of the quote? <laughs> that was Isn't... my... Eager face. Wasn't that? Isn't that a Kung Fu Panda thing from one of the sequels ones? No, it's no, it's the first one. He's going, my fist hungers for justice. That That's was my fist. My fist. <laughs> I think uh, that actually may have been like just a. I think it was the first one even. I've apparently I've heard that the line, sequels though. were actually good. Of what? Of Kung Fu Panda. I always distrusted have you them heard because. That? <laughs> Have you seen them? I have. I have. Oh, I heard. Th- I've heard that they're that they actually managed to follow without feeling money grabby. Do they feel money grabby? No, it feels a little. What? I, I don't, don't know. Just go the first one felt very grounded. The other well, two feel what? very. Because it's still got some magical mojo. Yeah, but the magical mojo makes sense within the whole mystical kung fu thing, but it Well, presumably that it would gets cont- real weird later, like I'm talking he I'd like to point out I don't even do anything com- to that guy's here's, elbow. Here's I bend his becomes, elbow in the way elbows bend. It makes you know like the sh- uh shows that become uh, shows after a movie bad. is popular and yeah, then the show But hey, sometimes the shows turn out okay. Like what? That's Penguins of Madagascar was the show. That's was a good. great example. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat in your. That was a good example. It was because I do really like Penguins of Madagascar. However, typically that's not the case. Yes, the Aladdin show was hot trash. And so I feel like the other two sequels are not good. <laughs> hmm. Well, and now, now you may have a dis- different well, I mean, I opinion. I just have heard just... people say that they're like, oh, they actually carry on in a good way. What have they? Said, I haven't watched. I haven't uh, just that they carry on in a good way. I never watched it, much of what the plots were because I was the curious. The plot in the second one is that he finds his oh. actual family. Well, I knew about that. Oh, okay. Well, it turns out his family is like some you know heavy well, chi wielding you know kung fu people, and that's oh well, that's but a little. But that it's tropey. You know what I mean? It's just like okay. Mm. So it, I don't know. It seemed to me. I mean, me I'm curious to enough be... to give him a shot because I, I mean, it's the first one's good. <laughs> Do that, yeah, sure, give him a shot. What? Oh come on! It's I. It it was a loose quote, not even really loose. Um, maybe I will if you explain some of your loose quotes. <laughs> uh, anyway, it. It, yeah. That's an interesting. How on earth did we get onto that? I have no idea. You brought it up, but I mean that's an interesting <laughs> I, perspective I, to have. You ought to know. You brought it. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually really like Kung Fu Panda, the original. Because yeah. as I, me- I mentioned in, well, I'm having to play some mental games because this will be way after the one we just recorded, but it'll be like weeks after when it's published. But the but in the Fallout one, when I was talking about the chick who does who did the video review of. Mulan, both of the versions. She also does one on Kung Fu Panda, which is fascinating. And oh, that's probably why you got onto it. Because that was why I got on. Well, I didn't bring her up. I'm bringing her up now. <laughs> Don't bring her up later. I bring her up now. Um, but her perspective is interesting because her... apparently she said you're going through that door. This one? No, yeah, the one right there. Um, she said that evidently it was so well reviewed in China of all, it, like 
by the actual Chinese people. That, the sequels? That a bunch of, no, well, I don't know. I think she was just the first one. But, like, it, did, it did so well that, like, a whole bunch of Chinese studios came together and were like, why couldn't, why didn't we make this? Like, this is, a, this is great, and, it's, and it captures sort of a very, the Chinese sort of philosophy about, like, because she then goes on, and it's actually quite interesting, she talks about sort of uh, Ugwe and Shifu being uh, Taoism and Confucianism opposed and how that sort of reflects, hmm. and that, and how that's oh, you got see, look at you being sneaky. You, I, I went and capped some folk. <laughs> <laughs> I say that as I poke my head out. That was really stupid. <laughs> well, I defeated my own purpose. Uh, that was funny. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize that they were going to see me the minute I came out. <laughs> well, the one dude was looking in your direction. I, but I, was, I was thinking I was low enough and kind of underneath that it wasn't going to... I am a lowly worm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, interesting. yeah. She's interesting. So the, she and, she compares yeah. Confucianism and, and Taoism to... To Shifu and Uwe and but how I they mean, sort of personify each. And how they're both... I would imagine... Uh, well, uh, you can, Ugoi I, being I should hope Taoism. You figure, yeah, it should be obvious. Yeah, but but she was talking about like how that's very deeply rooted in the in the Chinese sort of cultural philosophy, hmm. and therefore I don't know. So clearly, the first one was good enough. I don't. I don't the know first one's the fantastic. Yeah. It's the thing. There's the thing elements that's... of the sequels that I love, but there's also elements of them I hate. <laughs> hmm. Whereas the first movie I liked total in totality, oh, you know. Boo, 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 boo. And so I feel like it. <laughs> Maybe it's just because you're being too loud, fisticuffing the guy. No, <laughs> I'm not. It's Take even... a fist. They didn't hear that. <sighs> the F is for fist. Should we just embrace our inner terrible person? And just start With, tapping people. Well, or you could sneak like I did and just well, not poke your well, mean your mug out. The problem is I don't have the necessary juice. <laughs> you don't get your your. I don't have my trail mix. Juice, your trail mix. Um, because without you and I both know that trail mix is just M and M's with some peanuts M&Ms you have to with, eat around. M and M's with distraction. <laughs> um, laser targeting system. Oh, did we not add this? Oh, we didn't combine this with anything. Ooh, what do we want lasers on? This is the thing with the longest range. I would say that would be good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, we got the shotgun now. Why am I not using that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this screen? <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. Do I have ammo in my shotgun? The problem is, like, woo, later on, when we're fighting unambiguously bad people, these are just like street people. They might not, you know, be deserving death. <laughs> Maybe they're just misguided. Yeah, I don't know that I want to just go meet in some me. janky warehouse. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, to... I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. You can't just go walking I... up to somebody's groin and <laughs> thinking they're not well, going to cap the, you. They're in the streets. I mean, it could be a thing that That's happened. a commonality to have some strange cyborg man walking up to people's <laughs> groins? I was just going, hey, you got 20 bucks. <laughs> what are you talking about? When you're you just saying... You're saying what? Uh, 20 bucks <laughs> bent over the groins? <laughs> what are you on about? I'm just saying... You know, crime in streets and alleyways, just that's where stuff goes down. <laughs> so maybe they're not unfamiliar with strangers approaching them at that height. Kneeling. <laughs> oh, I'm to have to bleep this whole last 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> uh, don't mind me, I'll be just be over here humming. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> that just made it worse. Don't go running towards him. 
No, all oh, the gang no. bangers. <laughs> you now you're doing it. I'm... No, you're out of energy. Except the other dudes are here. They heard you do that because you didn't they, do it stealthily. Did they hear it? Could be sneaky, Adam. Sneaky. <laughs> well, they're going to see this. <laughs> are they? Ah, they did. Hey, what's he doing to Jerome? <laughs> wow. Keep your hands off of him. What? <laughs> His name could be Jerome. Sure. It could also be... could also be Alan. Yeah, or Mike. But <laughs> Mike? What, what, you got a problem with the name Jerome? No, not at all. That guy, <laughs> that guy over there is named Gabriel. Yeah, it could be. I, who's, who's to say? Okay. There's now three guys in here, and one of them's flanking you. Woo! Well, apparently we just murdering folks. Uh, just playing... We're gonna Fast bust some with caps. The... Got <laughs> lots of ammo in our pocket. And apparently it's not going into his. Well, if you have to iron, iron sights. Big iron, big iron. <laughs> Came to, what is this, Detroit? Came to Detroit. With a big iron strapped to his arm because he's a cyborg. Uh. That would be funny, you know, make a RoboCop edit of Big Iron, you know, Big Iron <laughs> on his hip, except the Big Iron was actually literally on his hip. <laughs> oh, dear. In the town of Awafria, there came a cyborg one fine day. <laughs> Anywho, uh, t- yeah, that's a big swarm of people. That is a lot of people through that door. Should I go through this door? I want to do... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, are we just going to access the inner inner monster? Well, I mean, if there's that many people, I don't think you're going to be sneaking anywhere. Well, the problem is, if we had... <laughs> this is going to sound very heartless. If we had stealthier weapons, I wouldn't, I wouldn't question it as much. The problem is, once I open fire... If I could knife a guy. Like, if I could... If I had some silencers and could kill people silently, without repercussion, I might do it. But now if I just open fire, that's like that's not going to be any better than than alerting people because that will alert people. Well, maybe you should just choke people out the whole time. Well, yeah, but you can't do that when there's multiples. I don't have I need to start bringing some granola. I have no clue why we 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 veered. <laughs> we veered. Is there a way uh, Is there to a way? to actually like boost your energy yeah, in real you can, time? I'm not joking when I say granola. It's like you bring some Weird snack packs or something. <laughs> some some strange meat. I'm gonna slit his Achilles. You almost missed it. <laughs> he just was like gonna turn around and go, "That's my big toe. What are you doing?" <laughs> well, I'm sure if you slit someone's big toe, they'd be upset. <laughs> they'd be upset. You're I exactly mean, right. You probably wouldn't do as well as at neutralizing them, but I mean, they slit your big toe. You got to take them all away. <laughs> so I am out of the juice. I don't have any more juice. What? Is he leaning on a box or is he just like standing in a He's weird He's actually position? preparing for the doctor to come in. <laughs> he should have taken He's his He's been pants having down some weird pains. Yeah, he's been peeing a lot. <laughs> he's been peeing 11 times a day. <laughs> Which was the wrong amount. <laughs> um, I, do I just wait for the problem? Is if, even if I wait for the juice. I'm going to have to cap someone. Because hey, that's true, and then those other people are going to come in, so you might as well just... <sighs> the moral ambiguity of shooting thugs. <laughs> well, we should talk about that for 20 minutes. <laughs> just 20? <laughs> I think you're underselling us. Okay, Adam. I'm going to shoot him in the knee. That was not his knee. <laughs> That was not as neat. Hi, pal. Come around the corner. Doodly doodly doo. I did not inhale. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but okay. Well, I mean, the thugs. He did not inhale. Exhale. He did not exhale. He will not, I don't know, live anymore. Ah! Ahoy there. Yoo hoo. Yoo-hoo, your brain's going to blow out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already made that joke. <laughs> okay, but here's a question. Is there an augmentation I can get sometime down the line that allows me to be regenerated? <coughs> Energy cells, nice. give me that. 
Energy converters. Two out of seven. Oh, man, I can crank it. Except I have no <laughs> crank stuff. <sighs> You're more shredded than a tree <laughs> salad, man. <laughs> Give me that, man. Give me them snacks. F <laughs> you. I need you not to turn around while I cuddle your bum. <laughs> cuddle your bum. Except I'm out of energy, so you've got to die. Cuddlefish, eh? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy, there. <laughs> uh, let I us not. I basically just made contact friend. with his skull. I could have just put that on his head. You've alarmed everyone. They're coming I'm towards aware. you. I'm aware, but they're not. Oh, but they are. I don't give, like big give, moving groups me, that are moving. Give, to- give me. <laughs> give me all of you. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, I'm stuck behind rails. Um, well. Kung Fu Panda, eh? <laughs> What? What? This is a dead end. I Suddenly. shot a man for nothing. Dab. Maybe it isn't. Maybe. Maybe I shot a man for the pure you enjoyment. Phase through. Maybe you phase through the wall. Well, this was pointless then. Why was he guarding this? <laughs> he died for nothing, and this dude doesn't care. Someone just got shot, but it doesn't not my bother business. this guy. You should turn around right now, just for the moment. I is this how we're gonna play? Well, for this section, I feel like you can't play any other yeah, way. I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of the goods. <coughs> well, I'm gonna. Well, let's we'll just let's 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 at least try. See that that wouldn't have done anything to his elbow. I'm bending his elbow in the direction his elbow bends. <laughs> like that wouldn't have hurt. I mean, it might have hurt because it would have been forceful, but it wouldn't have. Oh boy, people's gonna die in here. There's no way I'm getting through this without blood on my hands. I don't even have that much ammo. That's a problem. Is, are they upstairs or downstairs? Maybe it's levels. Well, I think there are levels because I saw a guy walk around over there. Because it doesn't look like there's anybody else in here. Well, <coughs> oh, mercy. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going over there. Oh, golly. This place is big. Got to get across this room, down these stairs, into this big room. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to kill some people. (laughs) I'm not sneaking through this. That? No, I don't want to do that. Alrighty, there was another guy. It reminds me a little bit of the Assassin's Creed levels in... What? uh, In... uh, not Brotherhood. I think, no, actually it was Brotherhood. <gasps> where you, you needed to use, like, the poison darts, and it was like, certain people would well, either... if I had some poison darts, I'd be much more content. Do the berserking thing, and they'd start killing their own friends, and then you feel less bad about it, because you're like, yeah, that guy... It was his fault. went crazy, I don't know. <laughs> Sids, man. <laughs> Sids, man. So the problem is, if this was a silenced gun, he wouldn't... I could pop him, and he'd be fine, but he's got friends. So, speaking of SIDS, did you know that they actually recently found the, uh... Oh, it was a boy. You're going to carry this, aren't we? <laughs> the, uh, the cure... Not the cure I don't think for any that, transition they... in any podcast ever <laughs> has begun with the phrase, speaking of SIDS. <laughs> uh, no, they found the cause, actually, though, which Bobbity, means... Bobbity. Which means pretty oh, yeah. soon they're going to be able to find out what the, uh, oh, the solutions are. I, I find f- that pretty exciting. I feel bad. About their SIDS? No, oh, I feel bad for murdering... Okay. <laughs> well, just because this is... I don't normally... I don't li- normally just play just trying one. to picture Adam just... Oh, I, I feel bad <laughs> for murdering. Uh, that's until he gets his uh, augmented glands removed. <laughs> augmented glands. Sure, that's what it is. <clears throat> is anybody going to come through the door? I just close the door. Close it. See what happens. Whoa. He's literally looking at the door. Ooh, he's got friends. <laughs> Look at him, though. He's con- he's confronting he's, he's and all interrogating their, the all door. All of their shirts say "ong ong ong." <laughs> Feel this, long, long time. Is this a? Ooh, well, they're so, all pointing whoa, at the door. Whoa, 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 whoa! What kind of game of Russian roulette is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 I think I misunderstood. That was the best thing to win. I think we misunderstood. They were just <laughs> they were just rehearsing for the flash mob later. 
<laughs> oh my word, that was the best ever. <laughs> It's all at the same Well, I mean, time. 10 out of 10, guys. You really got the synchronization down. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the scariest flash mob ever. You know, for all of the game, uh, modern games, graphic improvements, and, and you know, movement engines well, and all this other stuff, it's close. still hilarious to see how linear everything is. <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to put my gun away right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to climb up here without making too much noise. And I've alarmed somebody. Hey, hey, guy. Smell my flower. <laughs> ah, that worked too perfectly. <laughs> oh, crap, there's a guy in there. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to die. Your friend did, though. I was doing him a service. I'm not here. Oh boy, there's a lot of you. They're gonna all do the exact. Well, what? what? He's crafty. He thinks he can shoot through the wall. Ah! Oh, he's right. He can shoot through the ah, wall. Ah! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't! Ah, I'm low on ammo. Why am I not? Oh. <laughs> well, um, this strategy is fraught with issues, but I suppose there's progress. Uh. Uh, speaking of progress, you done anything interesting? No past week or two? Uh, I have a life. Just up and down on ladders all day. I know you haven't gotten out of this chair, neither have I. <laughs> I subsist out of this chair. <laughs> I've got sores uh, on my rear that are worse than... No I don't know. Worse than Chernobyl. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. In that instance, I'm going to pluck from the topic hat. We literally have a topic hat it's right a bowl. here. We're just by the way. Yeah. Um, it's a bowl. Is that what you said? said? It's a bowler. Oh, I thought you said it's a bowl. Uh, what are you What are you in the mood for? <clears throat> a derby. <laughs> Let's not go with the bowler. I got nothing. Time. The closest I can get is Buckethead. <laughs> <laughs> for a derby, if that's as close as you can get to a derby, yeah, we've got some problems. <laughs> I'm talking about topic flies. What are you <laughs> teasing? Uh, seriously, though, I mean, that's but the, the problem is that was a nested topic. There was other stuff that had to lead there. I don't think I could start there. <laughs> Bucket at it. Oh, boy. So you're just... Oh, I thought you totally slaughtered that guy. <laughs> Are you just in slaughter mode? So you could pop him in the butt cheek. <laughs> so can I... Can I kill... Can I pop him and well, then yeah. strangle the other guy? <laughs> I mean... So I could maybe at least save one... But see, what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot the wood, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's very possible. <laughs> and then they're going to go, someone's here. Someone's in here. <laughs> someone's in there. <laughs> shoot him. You'll shoot him in the butt. I'd like to see what he does. Oh, okay. I think he was reaching for his gun, but it totally looked like he was just about to grab his butt. <laughs> like, ah. I liked, actually, GoldenEye did that. Do you remember in how in GoldenEye, if you shot them in certain parts, they would react? Like, if you shot them in the hand, they would, like, flail their oh, hand Oh, that around. I do remember, yeah. And if you got, there was, it was a weird thing, because the butt wasn't its own, like, part, but if you did manage to get them in the butt, they would, like, jump up and oh, grab. Yeah. It was I the best thing. They would, like, that. jump in the air and grab it. It was very cartoonish. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. And See, I and liked that playing... Game, and you, that game remember, came out 20 years before this. Do you remember the mod where you could play with big heads? It probably wasn't 20 years, but uh, a lot of Nintendo stuff had that. I remember the Tony Hawk game had that, too. Oh, I didn't know that. I think that was a common cheat code in a lot of Nintendo stuff for some reason. I guess because it was humorous, which it was. People just find it... Of course, that made it really easy to play because then... Headshots. Yeah, it was really, really easy to get headshots. <laughs> All right, I'm going in total Terminator mode. Get the Doom music playing. And Kappa, fella, cap him again because he's tough. What? Whoa, he's the Terminator. Dang it, he was the Doom guy. I done played myself. I said get bapped. He's the, he was the main character. I'm just the demon. All right, well, since we're on the subject of metal... What? <laughs> I came across, because I've been on, I told you I was on a music kick, and it has been. Uh, you, what about a bend? You has I've been? been on a bender with music. <laughs> um, Something about a has been? I don't know. 
<laughs> but I've been using on. You've been using. <laughs> we need to talk about that. Cause you got now you got me thinking about being on a bender and now I'm using. <laughs> I've been using YouTube just as a means to find more music because you know it's what it's you know, one of the things it can be used for. Uh, just because it's the like, thing that I do while I'm at my desk at work and whatnot. Sure. And so I came across uh, just random album. was popped up. as like, oh, hey, recommended music. And I was like, okay, might as well. And it was by a band. Well, that was cinematic, the way he turned around right as you approached him. Uh, it's by a band called Driven to Madness. Have you ever heard of them? Probably not. I have not. Because it was interesting. That they had a they had a album... That came out fairly recently, which is, I think, why I saw this recommendation, because it came out a couple months ago. And, oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. The band's not called Driven to Madness. Driven to Madness is the name of the album, and I forgot the name of the band. Why did I not write it down? I'm going to have to, because I remember the... (laughs) Did you get him there? I did. Uh, Uh. I remember the name of the album, because the album art was, was related. It was like a skeleton driving a car. It was very 80s. But apparently they're a recent band. Dance with the Dead, that's the name of the band. That sounds cool. Well, I'll tell you, you know, bringing up Doom music, it's basically like just like a full album of Doom music. And this brings up, this is my qualm and my sort of, my enjoyment of it, is it started and I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. And then it kept going and I was like, oh, there's no lyrics. This is all just an instrumental album of metal. Hmm. And I don't know why that disappointed me, because, like, the Doom music's great, but I don't listen to it much. Do you... It's very much a background, like, yeah, when you're in, when you're playing Doom, the Doom music is great, but, like, when you're just doing work at your desk, it's a little out of place. Yeah. I'm wondering, though, whether it's a genre question, because no. certain genres well, here's, you can here's, get away with Maybe, but here's, here's the thing that I came up with. Here, I'll get your... I'll get your your opinion on my on my genre terminology. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we reacted the same way. Um, hmm. <laughs> I, I came so here's the name I'm proposing for this genre because Doom did this and these guys did this too where it was sort of and in fact we were ahead of the curve on this because we said back in the old Batman video talking about the genre map that we made that was clever. Yeah. We were very smart. Um, and where I said, I made this postulate that if you were to make it the graph, instead we made the 2D one, if you made it 3D, then the third axis would be digital versus analog right. sound, which led me to the conclusion that dubstep and metal are the same genre, just one's digital and one's ah. analog. And that's, and that there's a an, fascinating perception and that I totally and in, entirely um, agree with. Yeah, but... There's an interesting middle ground where there's the sort of medium analog and digital, which is what the Doom music did because there's lots of synth stuff, but also lots of heavy metal. That dude's elbow is so jacked. (laughs) Ouch. That makes me wince. (laughs) Yikes, that's awful. Holy crap. That was some body horror. Full faculty recovery. Unlikely. (laughs) Uh, But here's what I came up with. Here's what I think we should call this going forward because it's becoming a genre as evidenced by this album. I think it should be called Mechno. It's cheesy, I know. Metal and techno together. Yes, but also mech, as in like steampunk battle suit, is what it made me think of. I thought of Pacific Rim. Yeah. And I'm like, not only does it combine the two elements, but it also sort of sounds like it should. Oh, that was clean. If that was silenced, no one would have heard. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Except that it wasn't. If you put, if you tried to put those in there and it falls through, that would be interesting to look at for a couple seconds. <laughs> this, Hi. This is just like what the Greeks did, Troy. What? <laughs> I don't know. Except they was in a horse instead of dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I was proud of that. And as much as I know it's cheesy, I feel like it just fits. You don't have to think too hard about metal yeah. stuff. I just thought it was cool. But even still... I thought the album was cool for a while, and then I realized without music, or without lyrics, I'm let down. And I don't know why I thought that. It would depend to me on the type. I am just slaughtering, I feel bad. If it's like the kind of like... Which which it was, because again, it's very much like the Doom music, where I'm like, I've heard songs, 
individual elements of the Doom music where I'm like, oh, this is great. But a full album, I'm like, it just feels like I'm I'm not participating in the right activity. This feels like I'm supposed to be doing, like, for workout, it's probably the best. If you want to work out or, I don't know, do some kind of physical exercise or, I don't know, a sport, something. Things I clearly don't do, (laughs) as evidenced by my lack of examples. But, like, as a background for the right activity, I'm sure it would be great. Oh, this is one. I work out to the song. (laughs) Someone someone actually made a comment. Now I remember why I had the... Ah! I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. That was awful. (laughs) Right in my ear, too. Um, Someone made the comment that I thought was clever and also typified it where they're like, you know, as someone, I I like to ride motorcycles a lot. Yeah. And listen riding around on a motorbike with this song in my ears was like the ultimate tron experience and i'm like i can get there ah. and i'm like i can see how that would be fun but just sitting at a desk i'm like i'm missing something clearly it started to get and it, the whole time it wasn't like it dipped in quality the whole album's great if you're doing the right stuff and it just led me to the question why did you have to turn around maybe you deserve oh maybe you okay. need to be on a rowing machine with with I don't I'm know. Not sure. Rowing, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather hike through the woods or something. Pop him in the noggin. Crap his little friend. This is the intro to my rap career. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Shit. I don't, I don't have enough ammo for this. I can't kill everyone in this place. <laughs> Screw the moral concerns. I just don't have the resources. <laughs> Shotgun cartridges. Well, that's useful. What's your rap name? Filthy Stank. Uh, Eggy Funk Stank. <laughs> Eggy Funk Stank. Um, but yeah, and the reason, and it brought me, this is, we're going to come full circle, sort of, except not. Ah! <laughs> you cannot see me, I cannot see you. I am in. You should slam the door in your face. Oh, it won't let me kiss someone. It won't let Because I think someone's standing there. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Uh, it comes semi full circle. It's more of an awkward ellipse. You should come through the door and I break your knees. Or jaw, that works too. He's laying there like Don't hit me again. Um <clears throat> Buckethead is is a solo musician that I can listen to like just long stuff of his. And his music yeah, doesn't have lyrics. Yeah, but isn't that kind of his whole M.O. is he, more... Well, clearly that apparently is this M.O. of this band. Two, you're in the wrong spot, pal. I'm sorry. Came with the frog. <laughs> I'm out of stuff. I didn't have any juice, man. I'm sorry. It was your... You shouldn't have turned around. Where's my money? I'm sorry. I had to. Where's my money? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Not um, bad for an amphibian. <laughs> I was about to whoo, was about to put my feet down on that. Um, oh dear. Why are you waddling towards me? This is not the way. <laughs> I'm the opposite of the Mandalorian. This is not the way. <laughs> Instead of a man encased in a suit of armor, I'm a suit of armor encased in a man. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Blap him! What? I shot him through the cheek. Thought him str- cleanly through one side to the other. Oh, I I have shot. I, oh crap! I just shot Chris Redfield. I've ruined them. I think I've ruined the. Uh, the I was about to say Metal Gear Solid. What's the other one? Uh, Resident Evil. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> now I ruined the joke because I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I'm just slaughtering gangbangers. I guess it is Resident Evil. I feel bad about this. <laughs> They're not even qualified. We should put some sort of a I'm a former sad music member. in it. Well, just <laughs> these people you should <laughs> have Sarah McLaughlin do the commercial. <laughs> this For, what is this? this oh, there's one alive! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I got cocky when and tried born. to collect ammo. <clears throat> When your when your sons don't have proper figures What's, in their life, just, they become gangbangers. When just, they become gangbangers, weird cyborgs will asking, take them out and swear out. We're asking for donations for what? An orphanage? For mentors? I don't in know. The arms of the cyborg <laughs> drift away. Wow! <laughs> no, no tears, only dreams. <laughs> oh boy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Buckethead, speaking Don't of, <laughs> speaking of in the arms of the androids, Buckethead. 
Uh, uh, Buckethead people will know that that was a clever joke. <laughs> you didn't get. At least you didn't react. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, it wasn't that clever. Um, but yeah, like I, so that their whole mo is also ambient, non-lyric music, and Buckethead does metal stuff. It's not like oh, I can't do ambient metal. <laughs> It allowed me to do that mid go. I'm sorry. That well, was. Well, really I think weird. technically, even if someone's open firing, you could grab their gun. Woo! In the shoulder. Um. <clears throat> so that was a question that I was like, "Why is it that I can do buckethead for this?" That was a quick run. It was a quick run. But I don't. Lo- but, and it's not like I mean, a I think buckethead has the advantage of being like the literal best guitarist, pretty much alive. Well, I agree. I would say that somewhat without qualification. And I mean qualification is in... That's weird now that I think about it. The fact that we have two def- two almost opposite ver- words for our qualification. Like, you don't have to qualify a statement. But but then I also, without But if I say it's all without qualification, that could mean my statement isn't qualified or I'm not qualified to make the statement. Well, in, the same, the, in the same way that if I tell you something... Hmm. I'm like, not sure how to make it clearer then. I say that without hesitation... Like, I think I don't need to... Yeah. I think he's genuinely one of the better guitarists living. So, perhaps it's simply the fact that his stuff is just more impressive to listen to, so I, it's I can... The whole, it's the whole... But then again, I feel like... He then threatened that... to kill me in public. He was going to kill you in public? No, I think he would threaten <laughs> well, to, that's in the, public isn't the, to kill her. <laughs> isn't the old joke, the something about... <laughs> I had a dream that I shot an elephant in my pajamas. What was he oh, doing yeah. in my pajamas? <laughs> How he got in my pajamas, I'll never yeah, know. Whatever that's from. Is that a Three Stooges bit? No, it's Somebody, an old... It's, it's an Costello. old... Uh, it was one of those guys. No, it was actually older than that. It was like one older of those... Older than Abbott and Costello? One of those, like, beat... What is the the comedians that, like... Beat poets? Yeah, it's kind of similar. I don't think There's... they were comedians. I think they'd take offense to that. I'm going to shoot him through his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't care. He was like... Ah, nighty night. <laughs> I'll take a uh, well, since we're just embracing our inner like tormentor, um, oi mate, oi, oi. What? Well, you lived. You started talking to him that way because he looked Ozzy. <laughs> no, I just feel like I don't know. It'd be funny, Ozzy Terminator. Oi mate. Yeah, get on, get on, get out of here. <laughs> oh, where's your, this, where's your friend? Any guns tank? <laughs> Can you smell this, mate? Does this smell like 40 grains to you? <laughs> 40 grains. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Maybe that's the advantage because I don't want to talk down and be like, oh, these guys weren't as good as Buckethead because that's a high bar. I don't feel like they deserve to be compared to Buckethead because no one's going to stack favorably. That's true. Well, can I just jump through this window? Baruch Hazard! Like, oh, I thought I could. It almost looks like I can't. I'm probably sticking my head through this broken pane. <laughs> I'm stuck. That's what's happening. Whoop. <laughs> Whoa! Who was that? Cap somebody that was, in the butt. That was dead shot. That than, got me that there. Than 40 years before the mass is 40 grains against you. <laughs> that was too much of a stretch. No, it's not. A little. <laughs> Um, uh, so yeah, do you think music needs lyrics? I don't know that it does really, always, but I don't know I, I why it bothers me on in the this genre. case. That's all I'm saying. Well, because like Buckethead classical. Has, Bucket, yeah, that's the obvious one. But Buckethead has hard, rocky metal type stuff that doesn't have lyrics, and I'm like, and you're okay. So with why? That. So why did these guys not? Was it an sell? expectation issue? Maybe, maybe I just thought that it was like an actual band because I think it's actually. Wow. I think it's only That's two guys. That's a statement. Well, but I mean, it's only two I guys. I thought it was an actual band, you no know, offense, that made but, other things other than but just when music. It, but when it's two guys only who do nothing but instrumental music, I'm like, okay, this sounds, this feels like a side project. Like I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure you guys could tour doing this because. Well. Then Blue again, Man, hey, Blue Daft, Man Group did it with three. Well, Daft Punk did it. Oh, for that's years. even Although better. Although they had lyrics, that just wasn't the point of the songs, and it wasn't like singing lyrics. It was it was just lyrics. It was just words. Well, there you go. So I don't know. Expedient. I like that level of just yeah. That was expedient. You certainly took off his jaw in quite an efficient manner. You're telling me you're just gonna walk away like yeah? Ah, something bit me. <laughs> what? 
Why are you crouching? He's just going to blast you. <laughs> that was absurd. <laughs> ah, I got a mosquito. Just got a Glock bite. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, I don't know why. It's just that was, I was, maybe it was just that I thought, oh, hey, here's a cool new metal band I'll find. And I, then it wasn't. I will say this. To me, it reminds let, me a bit of, let there me was a, there was a, when I first saw uh, uh, the James Horner av- uh, uh, James Avatar. Horner. James Horner? D- no, James. Little James it? Horner sat James, in the corner and made a multi-million it? dollar what is film. It? No, what is what is James stuck in his thumb and he what pulled out it? an Oscar? <laughs> he pulled out an Oscar. What is it, James Cameron? Is it James Cameron? No, yeah. it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, it certainly isn't James Horner. That's Jack Horner, by the way, is the nursery rhyme. But still, um, James, James Horner. Horner. Are you sure about? Well, this? James Horner might be a person, but Jack Horner was a little first. Was the first one I came up with, and that's a nursery rhyme. Um. Anyway, he. Uh, <laughs> When I first saw that uh, movie, I ended up loving it because of the fact that I didn't have any preconceived ideas no, about that's it. A good idea. That's a good um, way to go into stuff, but I don't know. He was a composer. I'm sorry, a film, com- film composer. James Horner? Yep. But See, that's not who you were talking about. You are talking about the guy who made Avatar. Right. Who's, J- who's James Cameron? I'm stealing a turn because you're still looking it up. No. Well, if you want your turn, you're James gonna... Horner. Okay, so sorry, James Horner was the composer for Avatar. So and I was that what you were really you, thinking? No, I wasn't, but I knew James Horner was associated with that film. So anyway, the bottom line is, uh, when I first went to see yeah. that movie, Here's I had no preconceived ideas of what it was going to be. Sure. Whereas but... I've had movies I've gone into where I've had you know, ideas of what it's going to be. And so I don't like it because it ended up being Maybe that's different. all it was then. Maybe, I think it was also just because the album art was cool because it was a, the whole skeleton in the in a sort of muscle car thing. Very skeleton 80s. Skeleton in the muscle Because uh, that was the name of the album was Driven, what was it? I already forgot it. Driven to Madness. Driven so by I was like, devil. this looks like a very Driven 80s sort of devil. metal band. And I'm like, maybe this, this sounds kind of fun. And maybe it's just that it wasn't what I thought. Not that it's bad. But I don't know. But that's not the only metal I've been listening to. Would you like to hear more? Uh, sure. <laughs> you had to think about it going, do I really? I'm not sure I do. Well, you're going to want to hear about this. This happened just today. So I told you last no, I time. No, I meant just this morning. Some metal uh, with lyrics. This uh. actually did have lyrics. But uh, you'll remember last time I told what? you about this. What are you Smoking he's that got, allows you to just eat tit- bullets. He's got the titan. He's got some major munchies, man. <laughs> you open fire and he's like, ah, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> like Zoink Scoob, you you have a quieter taste for lead. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> Promised Land was the Israeli metal band I brought up a couple weeks that ago, and they're like... pretty cool. But today, I came across a recommendation for a band, uh, and it said. Uh, it was <laughs> it was some word I didn't recognize, and then in parentheses it said Indian folk metal, and I'm like, mm, mm, that color sounds, me intrigued. I would have said color me. I don't know. Intrigued is the phrase. I'm not. Don't I don't know, know, that, know that I would have been you intrigued. Say color, I am just because I was interested in Israeli folk metal. I'm like, why not? But then, Indian then I looked metal. at no Indian as in the continent, not yes. That, but I mean. Well, that, that, that sounds like it could be interesting. It's very similar. It's a Middle Eastern vibe, further it, Eastern. It's in, in, far in, Eastern. Instantaneously, just just maybe this is unfair. No, it's not like sitar type yeah, folk, but it's it metal. Me of like a Bollywood kind no, of a well, feel. Mm, it's sad that you should mention that. No, see, when I, looked, I can't do when it. When I looked at the name, I was curious, and I was like, oh, who are these guys? And I looked at the name, and they were clearly trying to pun off of Bollywood. What did they... And they call themselves... <laughs> You can't even say it. I'm They're not trying listen to, to this Well, here's man. the thing. They're trying to punt off of Bollywood, but then they were like, we want to make it hardcore and metal. What about blood? What about bloody wood? <laughs> no. And I'm not Are going to do the obvious thing. right now? I'm going to be an adult and not make a circumcision joke. <laughs> By not making a circumcision joke. Hey, I didn't joke. make it. 
But um, oh, I just that dear. that did have I did catch myself going, hmm. <laughs> and I had to because now I was too curious. You and, had um, to make a circumcision joke, but because you were too curious, no, I, was, I had to I had to listen because I was like this. You had to listen to a circumcision joke because it just had I was too curious not to. But I that can't being said, even. No, they're actually surprisingly good. Like they're they're, I like metal from other cultures if only because it's like i like metal and then hearing it from another cultures because indian music has a very unique their it's whole unique, their, all right their whole like the, the way they structure tonal like things and and chord structures and keys and all that is very it's it's, it's so different to me I well agree but then different. again i'm like well with metal I, like that kind of they're very dissonant like uh, indian music has it, they rely on dissonance a lot because they they don't. It's not that they don't do a twelve-step octave. They do like eighteen or something crazy. It's like there's a whole bunch of sub tones or whatever they call them. Semitones. Yeah. So there's a lot of dissonant stuff, and I'm like, hey, in metal that could really work, and it does. It's pretty interesting, but just the name, I'm like, I'm sorry, guys, but you might want to reconsider because you could probably get somewhere without that name. Maybe they just don't know that there's such rife euphemism territory with that name, but. Maybe they do know, and they're just embracing the well, bloody wood. <laughs> that's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> you want to let that heal. <laughs> oh, come on, pal. I don't. I can't get there. I'm well, sorry. Well, you should give him a give him a listen first. I pretend see, I they're called something have else. A, it's not the name. I already have a problem with. You have just, a problem with Indian people? Are you racist? No, I I can't do the weird. The the. It's not that folksy. So if you're concerned about sitars and weird me, glug drums. It's not the folk thing that bothers me. It's the weird <laughs> glug Whatever drums. those things are called. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> did you reduce a... No. The actual drums. Why would I... Did you reduce not a drum? No, but I mean... The... And that's also not Indian. Well, that's true, too. Uh, I don't know. I just... I find Bollywood to be really It's not awesome. Bollywood. It's... Bollywood is film. This is music. No, but I mean Bollywood... You can't stand film the... has very specific and but it's not music. film. What I'm and saying is music. it's a typecast. That... Okay, Bollywood re- refers exclusively to films. You can't make a judgment on music because there's no judgment on music. I, what I'm... Unless you're talking about bo- Indian film score, which I don't think is relevant I'm to Indian metal. Talking about what typically I would associate with. Well, perhaps you a should Bollywood forget what song. you. Because Bo- there is no such thing as a Bollywood song. It's, it's not a Bollywood band. Yeah, it's a I'm, pun. What I'm and a bad one, I grant saying, you. But I mean, in a whole, you're getting hung up not, on no, Bollywood music. Because I don't want to try to mimic it. Because then that's going to sound weird. <laughs> I'm not doing that, Sean. <laughs> well, no. then I'm afraid you're going to have to. <laughs> no, the reality is your point. there is a very specific yes, there's kind a... of sound to Indian music, if I can say it that way. Well, without but, it. Yes, but then and it's I metal. don't like it. But it, now this is metal, so it's not the same I sound. I don't know that I would sound. enjoy it even Well, you so. give it a shot. You don't have to. I'm just saying. Give I it think, a go. I think you're letting the name skew you too it's much. It's not the name. It's it the sounds like that, the name. I, no. I did it. I did it. It's the fact that I mean, I'm not it's done, Indian but... music, which I've just never had a, a taste for. Well, maybe you'd like it more in a metal vibe. Well, I'm I just will... saying it's fascinating if to me, if only because... if Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> I mean, it certainly is bold. But yeah. And that's saying something. I just came across that. I think I got my laser. Oh, where's my laser sight? Did I not add it? I probably died too many times. But that was just a fascinating turn. I forget there was an album came out like you know a month ago, that was what recommended, and it's it, what's interesting is that it's the guy, there's a guy who sings and then the guy who does the screaming and they both do like singing and sing screaming, but then they also do like regular rap and like screamo rap, not like rap rap, but like it's really tall. Rap it's, sounds like I, it's it's basically like. Screamo, but as fast as rap. And I was like, this is impressive. And some of it's even in Indians. I'm like, I don't even know what they're saying. Not that I would know at this speed anyways, but I was impressed. I What am I looking for? I'm looking for my ammo stuff. So if for nothing else, I'm like, this is just fascinating because of how bizarre it is. Because it certainly is bizarre. But I thought it was cool. If only because I'm like, I've certainly never heard metal sound like this. That's just something. I, sure. I think you're just racist. Yeah, that must be what it is. Because, you mate. know, 
I wouldn't listen to any oh, he's a zombie. normal shot metal if there was Indian. Well, would you listen in the to band. the? Would you even? Would you listen to these Israeli metal guys if you have a problem against Middle Easterners? It's not. Okay, it's not Middle Eastern. It's the no, sound it's not, of their their. It's the sound music. of them. The sound of their music. Well, whatever. Their, Perhaps their, you'd like uh, their archetypical music as far. So you as, just don't like the hyper dissonant. Yeah, I don't. I whatever don't. scales or whatever they use. No, that's true. I don't, and I don't well, like I the weird. It, but I think in metal it works because dissonance in metal is a normal like that. Yeah, but the weird warbling voices. But is there's not, not as much. There's not all that much. There's of it. not as much. The fact that you have like, to qualify that with not well, as obviously much. Obviously, there's parts of it. They, there's obviously going to be parts of it because it's a full album. But it's not like every song is that. Yes, there were yes. elements of that because naturally some of the songs were going to have that because they had like five of it was a short album so I think there was like only six or seven but I'm like naturally they're going to have to rely on that because it's a full album they what it to... feels like you even... you have no clue what it feels just like because you won't even bother just to listen in the name even I what admit the name was like poor is the people name is that are trying to be hardcore that just aren't hmm I don't know that they were trying. I mean, if it, it could, maybe they were deliberately making a joke. I don't know. Last one, I think. Let's hope. Uh, this is a slightly older one, but there's a band called Jotun. As you can imagine, Jotunheim. it yes, that is in, in fact what it is based off of. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But so it's a Nordic. I don't know. I didn't look up where they're from actually, but they are of some variety of Scandinavian. I think. I think they're Danish. Um. But they're interesting in a different way because they're very spacey. It's very... Spacey. Because it's techno-y, but more... It's not mechno. It's more like trance and metal. And I, there's no combination of those that sounds not like a medicine. Oh, you, well, you're really maligning this shot up. Straight through the ear. <laughs> and through the forehead. <laughs> Double shot. Um... So it's, yeah, it's very it's sort of trance techno where it's like super pad heavy and it's a little bit psychedelic, but then yeah. it was also had metal elements and yeah, they were also pretty cool. So I've been on a huge metal kick. It's been interesting. Apparently you'd like them because you can't handle ethnic metal. It's not ethnic that I Well, it is I ethnic to you. It's not ethnic. It's not just strictly the, like the general, oh, anything that's not like American metal is going to well, be because American metal ain't all that great. Let's exactly, be I'm not even saying. I don't know that, why the I'm... Swedes do it best, but they do. Well, the Swedes think do it a sometimes lot of don't be like that, but it do. The Swedes do a lot of things the best. Um, mm, like what? Other than metal, I <laughs> and Legos. Legos. <laughs> I think those are the, actually the Norwegians. Uh, I don't know that I have ever come across. <laughs> A metal Indian, Indian band Indian, with a weird name. Indian Woo! folk. That okay, I've you've actually, set something off. That I've actually gone, yeah. But this that isn't Indian cool. folk, it's metal. The fact, I wouldn't even have called it folk metal had I not seen that. I would have just thought this is Indian metal. Because it's not well, very folk heavy. It's not should. like sitars and drums and, and the. Oh, those oh, are. I didn't You just, yeah, that. watch, walk I, towards the blinking thing. Well, on the I didn't wall. know until it was too late. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, so I will listen to them well, only for shot. your sake. Well, just, if only, don't do it for me. Do it for your own corrective attitude. <laughs> wow. Broaden your horizons. And if I choose to still go, yeah, still not a fan. Well, then you'll know based off of what it actually is, not what you assume it to be. Because don't you know what happens when you assume? That get bloody wood. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh. got an awful lot of babies assuming. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, we're talking about circumcision. That still That's didn't... when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you said you get a lot of babies, I thought in the sense of like, you know, progeny type. No. You'll beget babies. No. All right, so this is the room of boom. I don't want to be in the... Ah! Ooh. I, you're thick as can be, pal. <laughs> thick as a cinder block, that one. I didn't have to kill him, so well, I was I, one less. I wanted to kill him. Just because. I'm going to shoot Johnny Lawrence in the head. Johnny. 
Wait, 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 Ah, crap, they can see me. Things have gone pear-shaped. Hi, pal. Oh, well, you, des <laughs> you deserve that. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well... So I don't, what, do you, what, what other you, uh, what, what other, other topics musical you the next, there's no more music have you had because so well, you ended well, with well, bloody well. wood no I ended with Jotun it was just shorter because it was older well, and I don't talk remember more about Jotun, I just realized there was more one more music but it's not in the metal category I sent you these this link and you never responded um, which one uh, it's called sleeping at last is the band which sounds like oh it you're was, talking about the one with the Enneagram one well that was the one album there's more than that that I've I listened to a whole bunch of that I stuff because I was impressed one, one thing that I did you so you did listen to it you I just did, chose sorry. not to answer me <clears throat> I did uh, thanks <laughs> thanks uh, I figured I'd leave you hanging I listened to it and I thought number one I think that he does a fairly accurate job I don't know if it's at a representing he or if it's a band the, or not yeah um I think that it did a fairly accurate job at at not necessarily typecasting, but at uh Well, I'm astonished that worked. Well that's what I did last time and it worked just fine. Um His at, face uh, while you did that. Kind did of not speaking look directly to a particular Enneagram type. I think like for instance, if you well, li if you well, listen to the five much... I thought it was hilarious that in each video even the The time signatures the that time wasn't always well, the true. The, time the five one was the I only think... one. The, the fact that the lyrics are now all in one section rather than all spread out and But see, I actually like found that I disliked the... that, to be perfectly honest. I was like, this I, I could understand the lyrics well enough because I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I certainly get you know his theme here. But I was like, lyri uh, musically, I preferred some of the other ones because I'm like, I actually kind of prefer the traditional structure of the like, song. Well, like, for instance, one of the other things I found funny was with... Uh, shooting that guy in the head, that was a riot. I think you're just shooting the couch now. Which probably wouldn't put up that much resistance, but... What? It looked like you just jumped in the air. I'm not... Ah! Oh, come Let on! Let me shoot the wall to your immediate right. Um, so, what... Uh, I, I, uh, I listened to, like, uh, Enneagram 8, that one. And I found it funny that the lyrics start immediately on that one versus the music yeah, I mean, and the I other think ones. It's it, like I think the the hmm, what do you call it? The expression, yeah, the personality is more than just the lyrics. Right. But one thing I will say is in every single one that I listen to, I feel like he is or whoever, if it's a band or whatever it is, are the lyrics are Yeah, they clearly have good insight. So perfectly put together. Not just insight, but I mean artistically put together in that it's concise and yet incredibly poetic. There's well, yeah, not... very, it's very much an indie kind of band. It's, I mean, given yeah, but most the of name, the time indie the name almost... kind of gives it away. Where I'm like, this sounds like the kind of band that would sing these kind of songs. But it's true. Sleeping at last, it's yeah. very, very two thousands emo. It's true. However, I'm one thing I think his the, hat. the... <laughs> <laughs> he just laid down like he was taking a snooze. Well, he is. Um, a big, long one. One thing that I thought was uh, unique, though, and in differentiating it from kind of the 2000s emo, is that the lyrics were so... Crap, crap. Uh, I can't do that because then everyone behind me gets I upset. tried to make that argument to you, but... No, you, you didn't. You just said I didn't kill him. What do you think DRB stands for? Don't don't bother. No, DRB. D don't don't read return. Books. <laughs> That's what don't This is just return. a gang of illiterates. Don't read books. Don't Don't, don't return, read books is poison. Don't return booze. <laughs> Wait, drink <laughs> all of that booze. Drink real booze. <laughs> drink real booze. Down <laughs> raucous <laughs> bottles <laughs> double <laughs> dis <laughs> Richard Branson <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be another shirt. Same thing. Just ditch Richard, <laughs> dis Richard Branson. <laughs> is his name Richard Branson? I think it is. I think. Now I now I feel bad. The, the virgin guy. <laughs> virgin guy. <laughs> hey. 
Wow, I never, I can't believe that. Has that ever come up to bite, bite him in the butt before? <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? I'm Richard Branson, the virgin guy. <laughs> the guy who owns Virgin the Company, which was also a strange name, let's just be fair. Talking about strange names. Uh, I believe his name's Richard Branson, but I could be wrong. Shoot the TV, why not? Um, so yeah, diss him. What were you saying? Um. <laughs> So, uh, the, what where was I at? Um, I was talking, what was, what was I even talking, talking about? them as a 2000s emo oh, band, but they're the more thing than that. that. Distinct, that There's yeah, a tall that over the place. Distinct. Disrobe. Is the. <laughs> r- uh, Disrobe. Is there any other famous <laughs> RBs? Any other famous RB initials? Uh, Disrobe. Ryan, I don't know. Uh, Something with a B. Dirt ride bike. <laughs> I, so, so anyway, I think try I think shooting one of these and the, see if it'll set off a chain reaction. Perhaps step away from it before doing that. I'm not next to it. Well, but it was. It's still an explosive. I wouldn't want to be that close. Uh, You're going to have to shoot all of them. (laughs) (laughs) You didn't even... All of that precision and you still missed. Dislocate uh, right... uh, uh, Buttocks. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that works. Um, So... Dirty, wrinkly (laughs) butt. Wrinkly is not spelled at all. Yeah, but they're illiterate. They wouldn't know that. You weirdo. They they can't read. They don't read books, so they wouldn't know. <laughs> Wrinkly. Uh, uh, um, um. So, anyway, I do think that. Uh, <coughs> Why are you shooting buckets? <laughs> I I keep losing my train of thought. <laughs> Whoa, oh, whoa, why? How did you survive whoa. that? And why didn't you come out when I was shooting your stuff? Oh, because you were shooting. They were probably going. You? He okay. Got he's, got, he's wearing a cup. What does... You're out of ammo. you got to switch to one of the other guns. What's up? What, how do I... Well, you hold Y is the quick select. I'd go with something else. Well, we don't have much in the shotgun. Ooh, there you go. I got lots of that. But it'll probably go fast because it's shot... Or it's spread rapid... Fire. Um, you were you gonna finish that point? I need help because I'm. <laughs> well, I don't know what it was. Oh, they left. What? Screw this! I'm getting out of here. What? Uh, what was I saying? Um. So don't I... ride bikes. Okay, we keep getting on this. And this is what's getting me off. What were we talking about? Well, that's what you were saying. You were telling people not to ride bikes. <laughs> Drool repeated. Boofs. <laughs> what? More. First you down the booze, and then you drool the booze. Oh, well, there you go. Down uh, something bad bad guys. <laughs> down wrinkly bad guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm stuck. Anyways, you. I don't know if you had a point. So <laughs> I do, but I need the topic again. It was uh, the 2000s emo band. Oh, you say no, that okay. Not. So let me finish it. Um, it's, uh, the, the thing that makes them distinct is that the, the poetry isn't cheap. Most of the no, time, it's the not, 2000s, it's not Tumblr deep where exactly, it's like, this is that, obvious, but 14 year olds think it's clever. Right. Like the idea that it's not, it wasn't such, uh, it, well, feels it very, had to rhyme kind yeah, of thing. It, was it feels very, very clever. much just like, hmm. Cause I not, thought it was clever. Not all music sounds like poetry. No, because, and it I wasn't mean, it, like rhymy poetry. Yeah, it, it was very much like yeah. it felt like, but because some not all poetry could be put to music well right. either. Well, and I say and it, it manages to be both, where it's like this could be read and still be poetic. Right, I say poetic sung, in that it's it's actually, uh, it's it's, oh, it's that artistically b- beautiful. Wait, we're, oh, hey, hang on, hang on, tower. I think that's what we're here for. Where? We're here to just we're here to disrupt some signal. That's probably it. Right there. Yeah. Oh. Well. It's probably yeah. So keypad. Can I? Do I jump down? Ah, uh, you probably could, or you could step down the stairs. 
So, yeah, I was impressed by that. I listened to a whole bunch of their stuff. So the album, the whole Enneagram album is interesting. They also had one about, it's called Senses, which is like each of the senses. And then there's a whole one about emotions, which I don't think I've listened to yet. But yeah, I just had them on as a background because they make for very good music to draw with. I've been doing more of that lately as well. Just as a means of sort oh, okay. of some I form of some, some form this. of creativity. So what is it? I don't know that I figured the hacking out quite yet. Oh, certainly this. not when you're not looking at it. Uh, you gotta go from the blue node to the green one, which is there. Right. So I'm uh, going here, here, down, and then here, yeah, and, and then, then so basically, I didn't see what the security rating on this is, but basically one. you have to. You have to try to get there before the red thing gets to you. The only way you can do that is by capturing nodes quickly and defending them once you have them. So, like, you'll go to the... And you can only reach ones that you're connected to, obviously. So you'll have to start there, and you try to capture it, which you hold up. It's an unintuitive, so you do that, and then you release to activate, and then I... Then you, oh, oh, you got lucky that time, because not all... When you capture, it doesn't always activate the antivirus. Holy crap, we're really lucky! Well, you're going to do just fine. Now, that's part of our hacking skill is one of the things you can do to, to make your hacking easier is you can increase or decrease the chance that the firewall will detect you when you capture a node. Um, and then you want to deactivate it. So I think you have to switch to the other one. There you go. Cool. We did it. We only murdered like 20 young thugs who probably, you know, could have turned their lives around if they had the chance. But we didn't give them that chance. <laughs> and we didn't give them to them. <laughs> <laughs> this town deserves... <laughs> this town deserves a new class of citizen. But I'm not going to give it to them. <laughs> All right, well... Yeah, I thought it was really good, and it's a great sort of moody music. It's very much Whoa, so. whoa, whoa, glowing. Whoa! Okay, so she was just... She almost landed on your head. Yeah, she is cocky. It was very, very good. Very, uh, if you're into I, sort of very indie, I mean, not, I don't say that to be negative, but very simple, where it's like it's one vocalist and the piano and some ambient background sort of track. Some of them have more rhythm depending on the on the vibe, but not. It's not a very rocky. It's all very sort of acoustic driven. Right. Not and acoustic. The actual but it, instrument. It, but I like agree with you that it, f it has a bit of a indie feel, but I just feel like it's more upper crusty. It's very, very well I put I together. I don't think upper crusty has a and it has a connotation that's not great. What? It's not. I wouldn't call it pretentious. No, no, no. I wasn't saying that. I'm saying upper crusty in that it's not. I think indie tends to oftentimes be similar to folk, and that it's very mm. simplified. I don't always agree. I think that's too much of because I mean there's different genres for a reason. But my indie, I think just means not. I mean, sophisticated maybe rather than upper crusty. Maybe that's the word. Yeah, I would certainly. I call would it definitely that. say that the the lyrics are sophisticated. Yeah, it it sounds like someone who actually you know has passion for poetry made this, not just someone who wanted to make a quick buck. Right. Exactly. Why are you, why are you, okay. I mean, okay. Why is it my turn? You finished it. I mean, <laughs> you ought to know. You won it. Ah, uh, well, we're, we're we're reaching our time, but I feel like I want to. Did, did we get? We got through a fair amount of stuff. Yeah, we got through. Some I feel stuff. like. Uh, oh yeah, we still haven't talked about EDC stuff. That might need its own. That for sure is going to need its own because I actually have. Quite a well, few that, we went through that. a whole bunch of the music stuff. That was almost all. I think that was all the music-related things I had to go through. So, <sighs> you want to talk about H.G. Wells? <laughs> Do you have any opinions on H.G. Wells? Not at the moment. Have you had ever read? You've read H.G. Wells, though, I assume. I uh, not recently. Ever? I don't Who is know you, that pal? I have specifically. You is weird. Read him. MCB. Um. Oh, so he's just. What's with emo Batman, Adam? This is what he always looks like. That's why I've made yeah, the but joke. He's. He's just not wearing his coat. I told you his torso is, is all is all torqued up. He's got all kinds of things going on. Whoa. Okay, I'm buying black market. I could certainly use ammo. Uh, shotgun. Whoa. Oh, I thought that was two hundred and eighty bullets i was like yes please 
We don't have a Trank Rifle. Eight shotgun shells for 280. You're ripping me off. Get out of here. No! Get out. Don't need none of this from you. Um, I was trying to transition and I got distracted. What was I saying? Was I saying anything? Nothing of... I mean... <laughs> Nothing of importance. You were just <laughs> babbling again. I was waiting for you to shut up. <laughs> um, what am I here for? That's a good question. It's a good question, isn't it? For what all we've all answer. wondered. Mistake. Humanity's biggest mistake was me. <laughs> I am the emo Batman. <laughs> we are the living end? What? We are the the living end. Except that doesn't say They're living. Calling themselves living. That doesn't that rears. That wouldn't no. That doesn't spell living, because Liv it's missing a letter. Le live mm. We are the living, living end. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it says loving it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We weren't done with the cutscenes. Um, well, so I don't know. I was going to... Oh, H.G. Wells. You haven't read anything of H.G. Wells? Not particularly. Well, then I guess I won't, yeah. I'll have to brush up on my well, H.G. Wells. I was, yeah, I, was, I, re I did recently, and I was... My opinion is changing on him, I'm afraid to say. As far as in the, for the negative? I used to be much more in the Wells camp and not as much in the Verne camp in terms of sci-fi, because that's the ancient... That's the age-old question, is like Jules Verne versus H.G. Wells. And... I'm starting to realize that maybe I should. I'm more. What has Wells written? Maybe I've Wells read is, him without. Yeah, well, War of the World. I mean, I'm sure you've read something, but it's like War of the Worlds and the Time Machine and those the very old mm, classics. Yeah, no, I don't know that I. Um, I'm not a huge sci-fi reader, to be honest. I'm That's not exactly either, if I'm honest. But I do sometimes. I mean, like I like it to a degree. I mean, I certainly like Ender's Game. So I mean, that's. I guess that sort of opened me up to more. I don't know if this boss fight happens now. We end up fighting that big Titan man, but I don't know if it's now or later. Yeah, I think we have to we have to go through this whole place first. Maybe we'll get... Okay, now these guys I don't feel as bad about killing because these are literally mercenaries who tried to kill us before and killed our girlfriend. So, so of course, vengeance is justified, is what I'm saying. Um... But, you know, they're not just, you know, street kids who could, you know, use a straightening out. These are, like, hardened criminals who are, you know, bad people. But, yeah, basically, I i don't want to spoil, but it's, I just have found, because I think the problem I have is he sometimes is a little too hand-wavy with the science fiction, where it's like, oh, yeah, and then this happened, and then there's not much. Because Vern, I've always said, overdevelops, and I think I now realize that perhaps Wells underdevelops see and i would always and i'm obviously you knew but even before i ventured an opinion on that that my preference is always overdevelop yeah i, I mean because it's not either, in either case they both can manage the the right balance like there's times when what when Vern manages to actually be you know consistently moving stuff forward rather than just sitting on one thing for a long time and wells obviously makes stuff you know appropriately fleshed out but i just find because a lot of his stuff is really short hmm. like a lot of stuff i've read recently is super short and just feels like this should have been a longer book like this feels like it could have been a novel but it was instead a shorter a, a novella or whatever because i think some of them barely qualify as that there's some of them are just barely above being short stories hmm. so yeah i was just kind of like maybe i should maybe i'm maybe i was too hard but i wasn't sure if you'd read anything so now i can't comment i don't want to spoil yeah, no, I'd have to I'd have to listen to really actually Ooh. venture an opinion on it, but I should get a gun out. I probably don't. I mean, I out. can imagine even just based on the fact that I again prefer people that really tend to be highly detailed more than so this just is an over broad brushstroke kind of a thing. But I'd have to listen or I'd have to read. Okay, so that's the elevator that leads to the boss fight. So this is basically a whole new mission at this point, which might make it a good place to stop because these are much tougher guys and we haven't gotten ourselves roided up yet we haven't and i'm a little concerned about our ammo capacity because that other dude was absolutely scalping people for ammo it's not reasonable oh i did get an upgrade thing i feel like we're gonna want some action points so that we can take out more guys than one 
What kind of stuff can we get? So there's different speeds up recharge or gives us an extra cell. That's a toughie. I feel like recharge is this. The I feel well, the... yeah, because the problem here's the thing. So from what I understand, like we have currently two energy cells, but notice how one of them's already empty, and when it's fully empty, it won't come back without like an energy bar or whatever they're called. Whereas if you deplete one, but it's not gone, it'll just recharge. So. Okay. It's a yeah. So it's like so the, you notice how the red one's not coming back. Whereas if we were to take one of these guys out, the green one would go down and then slowly fill up. So my question is then, what's use? What use to you is getting an extra bar? Well, that because doesn't... well, ultimately the down the line, what we should have is both, where we have more bars and faster recharge, so that if you take things slow, you won't deplete a bar completely. You'll allow it to recharge, and then in a hairy situation. Where you get multiple guys, or maybe you're surprised by someone, you could take a couple guys out, and you wouldn't be stuck. Because the problem we have now is, with one bar, you have to take a guy out and then wait to recharge before you can take another. Right. I still feel like speeding it up. Well, I feel like the I feel like speeding it up is better because we can always, in the meantime, bring along some snacks. Well, except I suppose that would that would equally apply to having more to having more bars because then if we had more snacks we could just fill them up, but the recharge is a permanent effect no matter how many bars we have, whereas the bars without the recharge means we will always need snacks what which are the consumable. Sna- what is the snack system? I don't understand. It's literally like you can just bring food that replenishes your energy. What, where do you get to so just food? find it around? You could probably buy it as well. That's the thing I've noticed giving us trouble. We're doing okay with hacking, although we could always use more, I'm sure. Yeah, but I feel like combat is where we need Ooh, most stealth. attention. What is stealth? Even helping? stealth, I feel like we're okay on. I just feel like we need more attention to combat. Well, what is combat? Like, we don't like, have much to Like, meaning in real combat. time, like, as the guys get harder, you're going to want either more health or more ability to well, withstand. Well, stabilizer, that might help. But the problem is, this is we, we have to activate this, which means we need more stuff, which we don't have. Well, reflexes allows us to do what? Oh, multiple opponents. That would be huge. That no, we should save for that, which means we have to. We're gonna have to buy a, a point sometime down the line. But, anyways, yeah. So music, I guess, was all we talked about. We didn't get through much else, but we talked about a lot. Yeah, we learned you that you're prejudiced. Your sh- wow. <laughs> and that, um, I don't know. And that. You should definitely check out, uh, what was it? All of them, I would the, say. The, the, the last one we talked well, that about. That well, Jotun, it's spelled funny, but you'll find No, it. not Jotun. Uh, that was the last. Oh, Sleeping, sleeping at Last, not yeah, the non-metal one. Yeah, at Last. I could probably recommend them most heartily overall, because just because they're more, they're less weird. If you're not into metal, then you're certainly not going to be into ethnic metal. <laughs> well, that, and I think also that there's a bit of a... A broader yeah, if audience. In the mood, to the... If you're in the mood to be moved, artistically, that'll probably be the one to do it. But yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Is that how it ends? 